Time now for a recap of your top stories. Somalia is gearing up to engage its international partners in a conference set to kick off in London this Thursday. The country is currently facing major food shortages, threatening more than half its population. The meeting will also discuss the strategy against al-Qaeda-linked al-Shabaab. The AU military mission Amisom is also supposed to start winding down its operations later this year, but concerns are growing over whether Somali security forces will be capable of taking over. The president of South Sudan has replaced his army chief, Paul Malong, with a general who comes from an ethnic minority. Defense Minister Koyol Manyang Juk says President Salva Kiir has appointed General James Ajongo, the new army chief. Malong is also said to have left the capital Juba for his home state, raising some concerns over his next move. And Moon Jae-in has been sworn in as South Korea's new president. During his oath of office, Moon said he'd do everything he can to establish peace on the Korean peninsula. Moon said he'll sincerely negotiate with China and the United States regarding the deployment of that, the missile defense system. And Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has met with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson for talks on the situation in Syria and Ukraine. The meeting comes amid a political firestorm that has placed Moscow's alleged meddling in last year's presidential election back in the spotlight. President Donald Trump on Tuesday fired FBI Chief James Comey, who was leading a wide-ranging probe into whether Trump aides colluded with Russian officials to sway last year's election. And those are the top stories we're following this hour.